Question 7. Here we've got three th the first three terms of a sequence, and the rule for working out the next term is add 4 and divide by 2. So we can check if we want to, we can check. So add 4 is 24, divide by 2 is 12. Add 4 is 16, divide by 2 is 8. So work out the first term is not a whole number. So the next number after 8 is going to be add 2, which is 10, divide by divide by 2. Sorry, add 4. Right, let's start again. 20, 12, 8. It means add 4, which is 12, divide by 2, which is 6. Add 4 is 10, divide by 2. It's 5. We still haven't got uh, we've still got whole numbers. Add 4 is 9, divide by 2 is 4.5. So that's the one that we want. It's the first one that's not a whole number. Let's look at part B. Part B says the sequence uses the same rule, add 4 divided by 2, and the third term um, in the sequence is 9. So you can either guess the number that works for all of these, or you can do the inverse. So the order, if we want to add 4 then divide by 2, the opposite is doubling it and then subtracting 4. We have to do, the, to do it in the opposite direction. So let me just say that again. If when we're moving this way, we're adding 4 and we're dividing by 2, when we go backwards, we've got to do the opposite thing in the opposite direction. So we've got to double it and then take away 4. Opposite thing, the inverse thing in, uh, in the opposite direction. Okay. So if we start with 9, 9 times 2 is equal to 18. And then 18 plus 4 gives us 22. So this number here should be 22. Oh, what have I done? Silly mistake because I'm supposed to take away 4, so I'm supposed to do 18 minus 4 is 14. So this term in here is 14. This is where you can lose marks for silly mistakes. So now I need to take that number and I need to double it. So 14 times by 2 is 28, and then I need to do 28 minus 4, and it's definitely minus 4, is 24. And that's the gap that goes in, that's the one that goes in there. So the first term of the sequence is 24. Okay, there's one more part to do. Here's the first three terms of a different sequence, which is the nth term, which is the following one is the nth term. Well, the nth term, we need to know if the number jump is the same each time. And this time, we're going up in fours. So we would say... The first part of this sequence is 4n, or the step. Let's call it the step. It's 4n. We need to know the start, so where the sequence is before the first number here. So before this is going to have to be a 3, isn't it? Because 3 plus 4 gives us 7. Or we go backwards and we take away 4. So the, first, the start is plus 3. So combine these together makes the nth term. 4n plus 3. Okay, they purposely designed these to try and trick you out and catch you up. Let's have a look at um, another sequence. Let's just look at one just to practice. If we look at this sequence, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, and so on. This time, we're going up by 3 each time. So we would say the step of this is 3. So it's 3n. And the number that would come before would have to be a 2, wouldn't it? So the start would be 2. So it's 3n plus 2. That's the nth term of the sequence. The step or the jump always goes along with the n or whatever letter. And then where you start before is um, the bit that you add or subtract on the end. You might need to go over this or we need to look that back up in your revision guide just to check you understand that.